What's up turtles? It's Crick here today with Black Outdoors and I wanted to do a video on sort of showing in my mind some of the most uh, one of the, the most nostalgic historical sort of romantic pieces of outdoor equipment ever that's ever existed and that is a walking stick or staff. And a walking stick or a cane or staff has so many uses that I can't even begin to describe them all in, in this video, but I brought a few examples out here uh, with me of Stony and I's sort of in our collection. The ones I really like, and I'll touch on uh, certain reasons why I like them, but you know, walking can, stick can be used from anywhere for a, a sort of defensive uh, weapon or sort of one to, to use as balance crossing creeks, going down hills, uneven terrain sort of poking through ice if you're walking on maybe on even ice sort of out in front of you before you take a take a wrong step you can tell about the, the ice or I can use it if I wanted to knock down you know maybe if I wanted to get in a tree and increase my reach maybe knock down some fruit or a resource I see in a tree you can use it that just to extend my reach and, you know that's just like you know some of the basic basic uses of a walking stick and you know I just sort of have that quintessential you know sort of nostalgic picture of someone out in the woods going for a hike you know with a walking stick that's why I like them um, it's not every day I want to carry a walking stick I just want to carry one the balance is off on your body as opposed to if you had you know some Nordic poles or two walking sticks so one of them you're definitely going to feel it and at times I don't want to carry a walking stick and there's other times where I just want to take a walking stick for a walk just me, a, you know, my stake, you know, like a pocket knife and a water bottle, I'll just head out into the woods, I'm just like on some old timer stuff. And what I'm, I'm holding here, uh, one example I want to show why I like this one is for the diameter, the girth. It's a really light, uh, light and strong wood, and it has this little, little ever so bent uh, curve right here for my hands running, which just makes it super, super comfortable for a handhold as opposed to if it was just running straight up and down sort of perpendicular to the ground but because it has this little little crook or handhold it makes it so much more comfortable in my opinion just for the, at the hold and a few basics if you're going to use a walking stick or uh, a, a trekking pole is that you want to keep your arm at a 90 degree angle next to your side where your handhold is going to be on flat on flat ground assuming this is flat you know this is where we're going to hold the stick to be able to move in this comfortable of a motion. And if you're going downhill, you obviously want to choke up on the stick a little bit and put it out in front of you and sort of use as you walk around the ground. But this is one, one stick, one option. Like I said, it's fun to play with. Um, if you want to get your Donatello one out here, it's like I'll be, you know, used as a defensive to increase your strike, your range, all that stuff. I have a couple of more examples I want to show you. Here's a little smaller one, more of a cane, sort of a hybrid cane, cane walking stick, if you will. It's got really cool characteristic, sort of all these bends and, and sweeps in the stick. In my opinion, gives a lot of characteristic, as opposed to just a straight, try to find a perfectly straight piece of wood. And this has really beautiful hand holds up here with this little swoop and bend in the stick hand can sit like such on here. I can bring it down this way if I like. All that. And because it's small, it's a little bit more mobile for me to handle. Uh, you know, I can swing it around a lot more if I want to. It's a big thing of mosquitoes in front of me, say, in the summertime. I'm like, ah, you know, don't touch me. Stuff like that. It's another option for a walking stick. And I prefer to have the tops really smooth. That way I can, I can use it, put my palm on it if I'm walking down a hill, I can use it and grab the stick like this. I really like, I really like this stick as well. Small, perfect, light, strong, really functional. And the, the, another example I brought out with me today is this stick I've actually done a little bit of work on. Those other two I showed you are sort of unfinished. And this one has a story all, all in itself. Uh, I put a, I put a lacquer and a finish on this. To, that's why it looks a little bit darker. And actually, I found this on the Appalachian Trail, just next to the trail, which I'm assuming some hiker just left for someone else to pick up and use. Um, but I, I kind of put the burn the story into the stick and made some designs. 
you can try to get some close-ups in the in the light where I'll pick it up best. Sort of set up close. I just used to burn sort of this, you know, place where you'd want to handhold. It sort of made it more wooden ninja like. This is all burned in. Just some design down here that I've put in that was sort of significant to me at the time when I made this sort of interpretation of what I was kind of going through in life. And I put a few sayings on the bottom. I'm not sure, just don't even try to. Here, this is where it was found, Fuller Lake. May 5th, 2008. Wow, it's almost been, what, five years now? Pine Grove Furnace, Pennsylvania. I have another saying here that I put on the stick that I really like. The forest precedes man, the desert follows him. And I'm not being sexist using man or him, it's just the saying. Uh, females can destroy the planet just as much as men can. <laughs> Um, but this has a lot of sort of sentimental value to me, nostalgia. This walking stick. This is Crick signing out, back outdoors. Later, turtles.